Here's how to add self-employment income on TurboTax. So even if you have a W-2 and you have some kind of side business or you have a business uh, that's self-employed as well, um, you can add that self-employment income here pretty easily. So to do that, we're going to go to the federal tab over here just from the beginning and go to wages and income. And here you may not see this self-employment income. If you do, you could click the blue button that says start or add edit. If you don't, then keep scrolling down. You're going to find some, a section here that says self-employment. And so you could drop that down and review or revisit or start that section. And once you start that section, it's basically going to ask you through this flow of questions, uh, did you have any self-employment income? If you're trying to add it in, then you would say yes, of course. And then it's going to ask you about the type of work. So you can have different lines of work. Maybe I own a, you know, a design agency and I also... Uh, do video production on the side. Maybe these are different lines of work with different forms coming from different areas of income. Um, maybe it's different LLCs that I have or something like that. So you would be adding in these different lines of work and then you add all the income to those lines of work. So in this case, let's say I do graphic design work and maybe this is all I do, right? I'm not going to get it too complex, but I'm just going to add this one line of work. Who owns it? I do. And so I'm going to click continue on that. And then, you know, a little bit of like, is this your main source of income? Is it a side job? Maybe it's a side job and a, a business, right? So I'm going to hit continue. And does my graphic design work have an official name? I said it's a business, so it's going to ask me this kind of extra question here. And I'll say, yeah, sure, the business is named. I'll say it's called Design LLC. And then we'll hit continue. Um, do we want to use the home address? Sure. Or maybe it's a different address. We go through this to basically fill out the information of our self-employment work, and then we add the income. And so how long have we been doing this? Well, I didn't start or stop it in 2024. It's been a long time I've been doing it, so continue. And then did I pay any employees? Maybe I did not pay any employees this time. And so I'm going to hit continue. Did I make any 1099 payments? No, this is just stuff I do myself, right? I'm the one that gets paid. I don't pay anyone else. If you do, you can add that in here, but that's not necessarily the income part. But you want to make sure you answer all these questions appropriately. Do I have my own employer ID number? I'm going to say no, I don't in this case. Less common situations. I'll just skip through these because uh, none apply. And then it's going to basically show me all the graphic design info that I put in here. So this is my graphic design work and it's all the information uh, around that. So I can go in there and edit any of those details if I want to. And I say, okay, uh, that's all looking good. Click that button. And now I can add in the income. So we established what the work was and now we can add income to this. So the common income would be these 1099 forms. Maybe there's other self-employed income. You got cash or checks that you need to report a 1099 miscellaneous form or other uncommon income. So you have these different options here. Uh, if it's just like maybe you received cash for the self-employment income or checks, I'm going to just check mark that and hit continue. And so we're adding in this type of income. So maybe this is a affiliate check or something like that. And so I could say affiliate check and the amount of a thousand dollars or 991. I accidentally typed that. So $991 and I'm going to hit continue. And that's going to basically add in that income to this graphic design line of work. And then you can add more self-employed income. So if you need to add more things, maybe you got a couple 1099 forms and some checks you need to add or like the total amount of checks that would be in there, you would sit, uh, select yes to this to add more uh, income to this line of work. Now, if we hit continue, we'll show you what this looks like on the uh, the wages and income side of this. And so we're going to hit continue to that. Do we have any expenses? I don't need to fill those out. We're just talking about income right now. So I'm going to say no, but you would probably say yes if you do have expenses, but you can always go back to that question. Now, here's my graphic design info so far. So the business summary that all that stuff we entered first is going to be down here. The income area is right here. We can add more income for this line of work or add expenses for this line of work. If we think everything looks good, we hit continue. And then, uh, you know, all of this took place in the United States for me. So we'll say yes, continue. Uh, none of it was for a former employer. And then any deductions I claim? No, it doesn't apply to me. And then no, we don't have any other line of self-employed work, but maybe you do. So this is where you'd say yes. 
instead of that whole graphic design section, maybe there's a whole another video production or uh, some other line of work, woodworking or something like that, something that you do, right? And so you would add those in as different lines of work, unless everything's under one umbrella for you. Um, but then you could say no if you just have that one umbrella. Now, the wages and income section will look like this, where you maybe have a W-2, maybe you don't, but then your self-employed income will show up right here as well. And so you can always go in and add or edit to that. Uh, so we can come in here and we'll see that, you know, it'll show your name here and then it'll show the different lines of work that you have. In this case, I have one line of work, graphic design. I can drop that down. I can delete different income, uh, income sources here and I can also edit those sources. So I can edit and then add more if I need to. And then you can also add another line of work. So if you have a totally separate line of work, you can add those in here and just have these different lines of work with all their own uh, specific information and income. That is how you can add self-employed income on TurboTax.